Hi everybody, I'm Nick Cosmider from the Avalanche Journal. We're here in Dallas for Big 12 Media Days with Texas Tech quarterback Seth Deggy. Uh, Seth, this time last year you were sort of uh, kind of thrown into the fire, getting ready to start for the first time since early in your high school career. Now, much more experience. How confident are you feeling going into this season? Uh, very confident, uh, just because I've seen you know all the guys really work hard throughout the summer. Um, kind of, it's been it, the, the, the 12 games under my belt. It's given me a lot of uh, confidence, just knowing that you know I, I know what to expect now. And uh, so it's just been a great summer, a great spring. I'm excited to put all the hard work into to fall camp and going on the games. What does a disappointing finish like the one that you have do for team unity and kind of the way that you guys approach things together? Uh, yeah, we all have a chip on our shoulder to, to improve, and, uh, and I think that's why we had such a good spring and such a great summer. So. Uh, um, it definitely brought us together. I think uh, it, it made some guys that, that needed to step up and be leaders emerge because I think uh, a sense of urgency uh, led them to that point. So I think uh, our leadership is so much better than it's been in the past, and I think that's one reason that we're going to be a lot better than we were last year. Uh, Coach Tuberville said he'd be surprised if he didn't throw for 5,000 yards this year. Kind of lofty expectations, but what do you think you can do this year in your final year uh, at Tech? You know, I want those expectations. I want those expectations for our entire offense. We want to be the best offense in the country, and I think we have all the tools in place to do that. And it just comes down to being prepared and uh, making plays on Saturday, which I think we can. So uh, I'm excited to get out with those guys and, and, and try to meet all those expectations people have set for us. Who are some guys on the team that are going to surprise some people this year? You know, there's a we have a, we have a lot of weapons in offense. I mean, Eric Ward's gonna be a great player. You know, Darren Ward's he was the leading receiver for the first three games in the entire country. So I mean, we have a lot of a lot of great players, and uh, Eric Stevens coming back. So I mean, uh, I think the guy that's gonna surprise people is Jason Morrow. Um, he's a six six two sixty can run a little bit too. So he's a big target down the middle, and um, I think we're gonna throw the ball to him for sure. So uh, I think he'll surprise some people. So thanks a lot for your time and good luck this season. Thanks a lot. For more, check out redraiders.com. I'm Nick Cosby.